Try using ordinary fruit to make this fantastically colourful fruit print. Let's make it! We'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr Maker. I'm Abby. Oh, hello, Abby. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, thank you very much. Oh, great. Abby is on her way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some paper or card. Some paint. Paper plates. A pen and some kitchen roll. And, of course, we'll need one more thing. That's right, we'll need a shoe. A shoe? Scraps? How did you get here? <laughs> Look, we don't need a shoe at the moment, but we do need some fruit. Can you go and find something? <laughs> wow, that was quick. Well done, Scraps. That's just what we need. Thank you. <laughs> this is a lemon, and we'll be using other types of fruit too. Brilliant. We've got everything we need. Although, it, it, it does feel like something's missing. Do you know what it is? No. Um, uh, uh, I'm here, Miss Maker. Of course, Abby. It's you, my friend. Oh, thank you for coming. You're just in time to help me make our picture. It's a fantastic fruit print picture. Very colourful. So, Abby, are you ready? Yep. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's get making. Now, Abby, the first thing we're going to do is take some paper plates and some paint. Now, this can get very messy, so it's a good idea to put down some old paper and put on some aprons. Let's go, come on. <laughs> Excellent, we look good. Let's get squirting. Bright colours work really well, but make sure you put a different colour on each plate. Now, Abby, let's bring in our background paper and we need to find some fruit. Thank you. This is a really good way to use up some old leftover fruit. Now, you need to find an adult and ask them to very carefully cut your fruit in half. Now, we've got lots of different types of fruit here. We've got grapefruits, we've got oranges, and somewhere in there, we've got some lemons. Now, let's start with a grapefruit. Right, there you go. Dip it into the paint. Excellent. Then print it onto the paper. Let's start in the middle. And then we can work outwards towards the edge of the paper. There, now what do you think, Abby? It looks OK, but I think it will look much, much better with more colours. More colours, eh? That's a great idea. And actually, we can still use this piece of grapefruit, but we need to clean it up first. So, can you get a bit of kitchen roll and just give that a nice clean? That's it, give it a wipe. And now you can dip this in another colour. Carry on printing until you've used lots of fruit and lots of different colours and leave it to dry. And now it looks really good if you draw around all of the print marks. Now, that can be the peel around the edge of the fruit. And what's in the middle of the fruit there, Abby? A pit or the seed. That's right, let's draw those too. Keep drawing and add as much detail as you like to all the different fruit. <laughs> We've finished, Abby. It's a fantastic fruit print picture. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas?